thought I played the play right. Thor hadn't, hadn't really made those, those shots all night, but uh, it is what it is. It's Summer League. It's, it was a great game, and I'm happy to be a part of it. The Summer League shouldn't be underrated. The competition has its place in the evaluation process of players. It is the Summer League where players try to flaunt their capabilities just to convince their would-be employers that they really know how to do their thing. It is a show of might. However, only a handful usually stand out. Swider, more than anyone else on the Lakers roster, has stood out, and it's because of his superpower, three-point shooting. Cole Swider has proved that he is a skilled combo forward who can shoot and score the basketball. So in a moment, we're looking at what he was able to achieve in the Summer League over the past couple of weeks. But before we look at it, kindly be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so that you can be able to get updates whenever we upload any new content. Otherwise, let's get it on. The son of Jeff and Jenny Swider, Cole Swider finished his NBA Summer League run with the Los Angeles Lakers in style. The former Syracuse forward scored a team-high 16 points to lead the Lakers to a 95-84 win over the Dallas Mavericks in Las Vegas. It was his fifth and final game in Las Vegas for the Lakers. Swider scored in double figures in four of the games and wound up averaging 15.4 points per game during the NBA Summer League. Patience waiting and allowing Jonathan Butler to get into the right spot to be able to finish. Hot hand right now for Los Angeles. Swider for two this time. Okay. Oh, why not? Throw in a mid-range. Swider gave the Lakers an exemplary performance and fans went wild. Remember, initially before declaring his interest in the 2022 NBA draft, Swider played at Syracuse. Now, Swider began his college career at Villanova. He was primarily a perimeter player for the Wildcats, taking the majority of his shots from three-point range. His perimeter shooting improved each season, and he hit 40.2% of his three-point shots in his junior year. Swider missed 12 games in his freshman year after he suffered a fractured bone in his right hand. He had the opportunity to start 15 games in his sophomore season before settling back into a reserve role for his junior year. As a junior, he played in all 25 of Villanova's games and averaged 5.7 points and 2.8 rebounds per game. After the season, Swider entered the NCAA transfer portal, which saw him move to Syracuse. So he transferred to Syracuse and became the orange starting power forward. Well, Swider trying to answer. Wow, back to back for Rhodey. He got a shootout, Matt. He did provide the rebounding the team needed, leading the team over the course of the season and pulling down double-digit rebounds eight times, including a season-high 14 against Wake Forest. Swider's best games came near the end of the season, which included a career-high 36 points for seven three-pointers against North Carolina. He followed that up with 28 points against Florida State and 15 against Duke in the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament. Swider was going to be counted on to provide the much-needed perimeter shooting for the Orange for quite some time but he struggled early in the season to find his rhythm. After only one season with Syracuse, Cole Swider decided to forego his final season of NCAA eligibility and declared for the NBA draft. It was a 50-50 decision, but after the season, I got some really good information from the NBA guys. It made it hard to turn down that option, Swider said during an interview with Q Sports Talk. Coach Boehm relayed the message to me of, if you're going to go make some money playing basketball, coming back would only be for what you want to accomplish in college. It wouldn't be for your professional. Oh, we got under six minutes to play. He's going to pull it out. Swider rising up with a hand in his face, nailing the three. Still, the height, IQ, and competitive spirit that Swider showed didn't attract any of the hack-eyed managers during the draft. A few of his weaknesses might have prevented Swider's name from being called at any point during June 23rd's NBA draft. It's speculated that the turnstile defense might have cost him. It is true that Cole Swider is a tactician who moves smoothly and with purpose, but based on his previous college performance, Swider lacks the burst in any direction to hang with many of the players he's been tasked with guarding. So, after going unselected in the 2022 NBA draft, he signed a two-way contract with the Los Angeles Lakers on July 1st, 2022. He also split time with their G League affiliate, the South Bay Lakers. Swider therefore joined the Lakers 2022 NBA Summer League roster. Based on his performance throughout the period, the Lakers might have found a rare gem. Swider is an outstanding marksman from beyond the arc, and every time he gets the ball while wide open from distance, fans assume his shot will go through the net. He also seems to have some ability to evade a defender, readjust, and get a better look. But what makes Swider more impressive is his ability to consistently hit contested three-pointers. Things to talk about with L.A., that's for sure. Swider's eight points. He had two of those three-pointers. 
Speaking of, right on cue. Good shooters consistently hit when they're open, but great shooters convert a fair amount of time with a man right in their face. And Swider is without a doubt a great shooter. He finished shooting at an even 50% from downtown in five games during the Summer League, as well as 60% in three contests at the California Classic. He has done so on a high volume of attempts, 7.6 per game at the Summer League, and a five contest at the California Classic. Cole Swider stayed hot from behind the three-point arc all summer, seizing the chance to prove his worth as a potential NBA factor for the Los Angeles Lakers. For instance, the former Syracuse forward Cole Swider wrapped up his NBA Summer League play with a superb shooting performance for the Los Angeles Lakers, which left fans wowed. He scored a team-high 16 points on 6 of 9 shooting, including 4 for 6 from 3-point range, as the Lakers topped the Dallas Mavericks 95-84. to He also grabbed 3 rebounds. The 6'9 forward from Syracuse University was especially impressive from deep, finishing 28 for 53 on three-pointers overall, contributing 3.5 per game at a 52.8% clip for a franchise that has publicly emphasized a desire to add outside shooting this offseason. Cole Swider had another strong outside shooting game in the NBA Summer League in their game against the Phoenix Suns. O'Neal to the wing. Swider. Nice little. In a 104 to 84 loss to the Phoenix Suns, Swider went three for seven from beyond the arc on his way to 11 points and four rebounds in 25 minutes. He was just four for 11 from the field overall and did foul out. However, still, Swider continues to show he can shoot the ball at a very high level. If he can lock down a regular role in the LA rotation, then soon we're going to see his full potential. And we're optimistic because he's too good to bench or demote. And this is not because the Lakers lack the requisite respectable players to fill out 48 minutes of basketball, but because Swider may create a big impact in their game. Improving his on-ball defense enough to avoid being switch hunted the second he steps on an NBA court would go a long way towards getting him the minutes to become one of the LeBron James's preferred passing targets this coming season. And if that's the case, the Lakers may have found themselves another undervalued talent outside of the draft, successfully exercising one of their few pathways towards improvement in spite of their current salary cap constrictions. If Swider does grow into becoming one of the league's premier movement shooters, the Lakers will have the opportunity to pay him like one or extract some value from the right to do so before letting him walk in free agency like they did with Alex Caruso. And remember, the Lakers have a track record of bringing the best out of undervalued players, so Cole Swider might have just landed in the perfect place for his development. Well, I think now in the NBA, Duncan Robinson, I got this opportunity to play with the Lakers. Guys like Duncan Robinson, all these guys throughout the NBA that have, have proven that you need a guy like that who can run actions for them, so, so that's why. Swider might not be Duncan Robinson yet, or ever for that matter, but at as little as a 36th of the price, this low-risk signing has a chance of being one of the Lakers' best this season. It's only a matter of time.